Sway the morning shade four five brand new eyes from Benjamin. Shout out to Rod the producer. Over deliver entertainment. Right now, DB, we were talking about this guy. Um, I got a chance to host a Grammy a Grammy party a couple months back. Exactly when my phone got I got locked out on my phone. I'll never forget it. Clive Davis Grammy party? Nah, this wasn't Clive Davis Grammy party. It was the Empire Grammy party. Oh, Shout out to Empire. <laughs> The whole record company uh, uh, Grammy party, and they were showcasing a lot of their artists that have come through this independent um, platform and have gone off to do great things, you know. And some of them, um, not only are they Grammy Award winners, they were Grammy nominated as well at that time, and uh, they have gone off to do some really exciting things. And this next artist is somebody we've been really trying to sit down and talk with yeah. for quite some time. Um, I respect this man. He's a Grammy award winning musician, a singer, a songwriter, a record producer. Uh, recently we saw him po- perform at the Super Bowl halftime show with Maroon 5. In case you don't know he, who he is, he's the black one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's only <laughs> he's, one. There's only one. He's with, with us today uh, straight out of New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> uh, the one and only P.J. Morton. Yes, yes. P.J. Morton Thank is y'all. here, man. I'm excited to be here, man. P.J. Morton is here, man. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm a fan of yours. Um, and we always have, you know, been trying to make this happen. I think you were, you represent similar to a Robert Glasper and uh, different people that we really respect. You represent everything that's good when it comes to entertainment and the music Thank business. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And, and shout out to you, like I said, when I saw you at the Empire Park because it had been a while, but... Maybe like 10 years ago, I performed here in New York at this place called Harlem Rhythms. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sway waited for me after I performed and, and showed love and, and, and really, really encouraged me at that point very early on and when I was trying to do this. And I, I've always held on to that. Mm-hmm. Always respected you and, and appreciated you for that. So shout out to you. Oh, man. Thank you, PJ. I swear I didn't get the tickets to the Super Bowl, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it, it was a little tight. It was a little, little, little tight, tight. Yeah, it was a little tight. Were they tight on the tickets? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Like, did you get only my family, only my family, not even my my parents. Like, just just uh, my wife and my kids came. Damn. Yeah. Shit, how many kids? Light, light. I got three kids. One so. of them kids didn't have to be there, man. <laughs> right, right, I'm right. Just saying, the uncle Sway yeah. could have been right six there. Year old. Yeah, the yeah, six exactly. year old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The six year old fell asleep. Maybe, right. He didn't even appreciate. Right. It. Maybe maybe didn't fully fully appreciate it. So <laughs> I should have brought Sway Sway in there. No, you shouldn't. Have. You no, did right by I, your wife. Cause let me tell you something. Ain't mm. nobody minding your kids while you go to the Super right. Bowl. You right. That's right. just not a good Sway, Sway. Sway wasn't gonna watch him. I, I no. I, I'm a great babysitter, by the, the way. The game was kind of boring, so you might have. I might have watched. Been I would have been. Yeah, I, I, you know. <laughs> sure. Um, let's talk about your ascend to where you are right now. Uh, you came mm-hmm. out of gospel church, or yeah, well, I was a preacher's kid. So, okay. so I, um, you know, that's where I learned how to play music and um, started writing songs in gospel initially. Uh huh. Um, very young, 15 years old is when I first. Like placed my song on a gospel record and and uh, it kind of started f- from from there. Uh huh. Just kept kept going. Were you ever in a, a group or did you? Or you was always a session no. player? Or? No, I always played keys and then my sister and I just tried to do this uh, contemporary gospel group. Uh huh. Uh, and I was really just an R and B guy on the inside trying to trying to do gospel. Mm-hmm. Um. So I made that gospel as R and B as I could okay. with, before I broke out and then I left home and went to uh, Atlanta. Went to Morehouse, and um, my ju- my sophomore year, I met Ndire when I moved off campus, mm-hmm. and that was like my first major placement. That album got nominated for a couple Grammys, won a Grammy. Um, you got the Grammy for that too. I got a plaque for that. Uh-huh. It's a funny story about that because I thought I was Grammy award winning all that. You weren't for like for like twelve years. I thought I was. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. You, I was Grammy. Uh, like they give you a plaque if you work on the album. Oh, uh, you got to work on a like. I think 51% or 60% of an album. So uh-huh. I produced one song and, and wrote one song on the album. And all that time, I was like, yeah, you know, I won a Grammy. Yeah. My junior year at Morehouse. Uh-huh. You know? And I was a part, I think that rule is flawed, to be honest with yeah. you. Because if I produced a song on a rec- on an album that won Best R&B Album, then I... You should get a Grammy, right? You should right? get a Grammy. Yeah, yeah. But, but I learned once I became like uh, a governor at, at, on the Grammy chapter, uh, they were like, yeah, you know, you have... You actually have a one. I was like, oh, damn. Word. Did, did he okay. say, did y'all hear that? He said he became a governor of the Grammy chapter. Yeah. Okay, he's turning on uh, his PJ. No, 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 no. no. Okay. That wasn't even a flex, man. I was just, I was just yeah. A fact. It wasn't a flex, it was a fact. Right. What yeah, is that, is, though? Um, so I'm a, I'm, I'm a governor on the 
Memphis chapter, which covers New Orleans. And basically, um, because the Grammys, for most people, is just the award show. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff that happens throughout the year, like we have Grammys on the Hill that we're about to do. Mm -hmm. um, those are things that we discuss and brand partnerships and um, a lot of uh, outreach. I know after Katrina, they spent like three million giving people, uh, giving musicians instruments who had lost stuff wow. during the storm. Uh -huh. So um, that that's with, um, with Gr uh, Grammy Cares, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. there, there's a board that happens. You know, Grammys is our, it's a purely peer uh, organization, so mm -hmm. it's just you know music people do doing music things. Yeah, exactly. They get a lot of backlash on diversity though, and mm -hmm. when it comes to the actually award show and yeah. what, you know who who's actually going to be seen on the show and t televised, sure. the way people are nominated, the whole nine. Do, how how do you um, reconcile that? You know, being a part of it all. Being yeah, a part I, of the process. I think um, I'm very vocal about that. You know, I think the nomination process is really. I think they've gotten that. Better, yeah, much okay. better. I think the R and B categories were were just about right. All I was missing was like Tiana Tiana Taylor's record this year. Uh huh. Uh, but besides that, I think they've gotten it right. Like the last few years, I know I you know I I got in one of those rooms after that Kendrick year, that yeah. Kendrick McLemore year. So, um, so, but I think the voting, so the nomination process is right. But then when it comes to the everybody can vote i yeah. think that's when it gets weird because a lot of us our people and the people who are listening to r&b and who are listening to rap albums they're not actually voting you know yeah so that's, which is weird because yeah. our the year jay-z got how many nominations eight, eight and didn't win, didn't win one. one right right like did you go to backstage and go yo who messed that up well i just feel like you know because when i talk when after that happens a lot of the artists are like man it's rigged blah blah right. blah and i'm like bro did you because jay-z i jay-z supposed to vote jay-z actually does vote I've, okay i've had those conversations they're interested in that process now but i don't care how big you are i don't care how many records you sell this is our award show that's why it means so much because it's our peers you know what i'm saying that's uh -huh. voting for each other and but if we don't vote, they're like, man, they think it's some but, old white dude in the room, or you know, isn't and, it? No, it's not. I mean, it 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 is if we don't vote in our categories. Then those, but people who don't, have never even heard four 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 get to vote against it. They get to say, oh man, I didn't wow. listen to I didn't listen to all these rap albums in this category. So I'm just gonna check I'm anything. Just, I like I like this guy. Have you guys you thought know. about making that a requirement? Like, in order to vote, you have to listen. <laughs> That's a good. It, question. It's an honor system. I mean, how do you how, mm. how do you enforce that? Really, you know. Okay. I think we just need to empower the artists and let them know. Basically, make it look cool. Make it be cool. Like, I, I like the process. I enjoy getting on there and voting for my favorite things. Mm -hmm. You know. I think if we let them know that the because when I when I I was signed to Young Money at one time, mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, wow. yeah, just give us your ballots. You know, we'll. And I'm like, no, I, I like being a part of this process, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of the artists don't even know. What what happened with Young Money? I remember that. What ha Did you ever do anything? I put out a record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a, I feel like I'm a legend in that building. I, yeah. I, um, I signed, put uh -huh. out a record, uh -huh. and, and, and got a, and left. Which I don't think anybody... did you put? I, I, did an follow, album called, I did an album called New Orleans Okay, at, at, when I was signed there. And uh, I was actually nominated for Best R&B Song at the Grammys uh -huh. for a song that I did with Stevie Wonder. How, how, um, how hands-on was Wayne, or who was the person that was handling your project? To be honest, well, well, creatively, I think the success of Young Money was the lack of getting in that process okay right like if somebody signed drake somewhere else they'd probably say all right we're gonna get you with swiss now uh -huh. and timbaland blah 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 but drake was doing his thing with 40 and they like hands off like let him continue to we'd sign him because we believe and that was the same thing with me they mm. i they didn't hear my record until it was done and handed in did you get to work with young money artists like drake at that time wayne was on my record okay i wanted to work with drake but i didn't really drake was it's kind of like a it was kind of like a separate he had kind of had his system going. Yeah. I didn't really interact with Drake much. Okay. To be honest. Did you get but paid? I'm from Did I get Did you get no residuals? <laughs> I like, got, you know? No, I didn't I didn't see any residual checks. Um I, I, I got I I got a check when I signed and that was That was the only check you got. That's the last Damn, check you I know saw. your music's still streaming, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still streaming. Yes. Yo. I see those numbers. That's crazy. Did you like your lawyer at the time when you signed? 
my lawyer was incredible. It's probably why I was able to just get out of my deal. Okay, yeah, it's true that part. Uh-huh. Yeah. PJ Morton is here. He got the new <laughs> single "Say So." If you just watched the Kids Choice Awards, you saw DJ Khaled and this young lady named JoJo. Oh, um, JoJo was on there. She Joe. was on there hosting it. Uh, we're gonna play the single momentarily, but uh, this guy is. To, for a lot of us, one of the industries, I don't want to say best kept secret because you're a Grammy Award winner, right? And you whip Maroon 5. Yeah. Uh, but somehow, I don't know if you get the acknowledgement or recognition you get. Yeah. You just did the Super Bowl and you got a whole new kind of recognition as the black guy who's playing a halftime show at the Super Bowl. How could he do that? How could I do it? Yo, what's How the worst thing it? people said to you that um, you got on social maybe? To be honest, it wasn't that bad. I saw Wendy Williams kind of be like, you know, the black guy is, you know, I can't believe he's doing it. Um, not to mention, like, this, not a lot of it was my decision anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you what I'm saying? Have to roll with the I'm in this band. I was going to play. You know, we had a, a range of emotions about it. Like, I, I remember when Adam first called me and said, man, we got the Super Bowl. I was ecstatic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's just a lifelong dream of mine. Mm-hmm. And then, like, 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh, man, not this year, though. Yeah. You know, I was like, dang, I didn't want it this year. Uh Because we've been wanting the Super Bowl. You know, that used to mean so much. You used to have to have a catalog. Well, it still does, for sure. But I I think they started to go to younger artists, Uh you know, some years back. But before, it used to be legacy. Like, you had to have a crazy catalog. You know, we got... You got to have a lot of hit songs. I even think when Bruno, I think Bruno should have maybe played it this year and we mm-hmm. should have played it when he played it the first year mm-hmm. because he had like big songs, but it was like four of them, you mm-hmm. know, at that time. Maroon 5, low key, like got like, I don't know, 15. Smashes. S- super yeah, certified, dumb smashes. Yeah, certified. Yeah. Yeah. Like for real. So, I, you know, I, I knew that we were supposed to be there and we had worked really hard. I mean, I've been in the band nine years, even before me, it's, it had been going. So then I went to that emotion, and I'm like, dang, I w- maybe we shouldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. Then the, uh, the the leak of the announcement got out, and then the backlash started crazy. Okay, so how did you, did you and Adam talk about it? Like, Adam, man, I, it's a different, it's a, I know as a oh, band, yeah. this is what we aim for, but for me, it's a little different. I'm a black man in America. Mm. 100%. Uh, and I support Colin Kaepernick's movement of just put awareness on police brutality and eradicating that. Absolutely. Right? Well, how did yeah, you discuss yeah. that with him personally? Oh, no, it, to be honest, you know, he was very aware too. Okay. Like not, I mean, he's not a black man, but he understood the weight of it, right? So we had real. I, I was proud to be in those rooms at that at that moment, mm-hmm. you know. Because what did Adam I was say? What did Adam Levine say about it? Well, he was just like, man, I want it, but like, we got a great career. I don't know, like, if this means the same thing or if we we need to do this. You know, I think it was just real brother talk at that point. Yeah. And I so I was like, all right, cool. Let's let's just not do it. We mm-hmm. I think at one point we were all like, all right, let's just not do it. Mm. Um, and maybe some conversations had happened in between there, and then it was back on, mm-hmm. right? Um, which is why there was never really an official announcement okay. of it. Um, but then um, then the the uh, the um, the thing came out where people were protesting that we don't do it. Yeah. Right. And th- and then I started to get a little offended. Maybe my pride was like, okay, because where I was sitting, I'm the guy. Pr- I- I'm like not watching football. Okay, right? the like, whole year because of it, right? I- I'm I'm supporting Colin. Uh-huh. I- I'm New Orleans boy, so the Saints are like balling out, and I'm hearing about it, and because the city was so excited, mm-hmm. I didn't watch football until the championship game, which I probably shouldn't have watched that because. It was the worst game I've ever watched. Yeah, that was, worst call ever. Uh-huh. Oh, you're talking uh, about New Orleans game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's when I decided, like, all right, I'm going to watch a game. I'm playing the Super Bowl, uh-huh. you know. Um, but then I got offended because I'm like, okay, I support the movement, right? And it, I felt like people were being self-righteous and also, like, picking and choosing uh-huh. what was okay, uh-huh. right? Because as a supporter of the movement, I I, I saw people cheer when, when – uh, when my man signed to the Panthers, who yeah. you know, Eric Reed. Yeah, yeah, Eric Reed signed mm-hmm. to the Panthers, and I'm like, all right, are we happy? Are we happy? Are we? And it was no leadership saying like, all right, this is a good step for us, or this is a bad step for us. Right. But my point was, he's playing for this corporation that you want me to protest against. You don't want me to play for the corporation on yeah. this halftime show, uh-huh. but he could play every Sunday, and we support that. Yeah, mm. and I'm like, oh, okay, so that's kind of picking and choosing, even with the. Even, you know, with Cardi, 
deciding not to do it, but then doing a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. But not the Pepsi halftime show. I'm like, uh-huh. all right, cool. Okay. All right, you know, uh-huh. and well, uh, even the players, the players, players are playing the every. My yeah. my point has always been, I'll follow them, right? Because okay. if the players don't play football, then there is no Super Bowl, uh-huh. there is no halftime show, and I just, I just, I just thought that people were picking and choosing, and um, I do support what, what what Cap stands for, yeah, and always have. Shout out to Sean King. Like I, I'm a Morehouse man. Sean uh-huh. was my student body president when uh-huh. I got to Morehouse, uh-huh. and you know. I was just confused as to what, what what we supported, what we didn't. Even, you know, Jay having conversations about Tra- Travis not playing. Yeah. But then Chloe and Hallie doing America the Beautiful at the game. You know, I'm like, I, I think it's just a well, little picking and with choosing. Beyonce. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm okay. like, okay, okay, so so maybe I listen to everything, but also block out everything. And at the end of the day, I think it became. We're gonna just do Follow what we heart. always do. Yeah. We play music and we go and. Chill, you know what I'm saying? So, and Morton. that's what it came that's down to. That's what it came to. to. Damn, yeah. y'all almost removed Maroon Five. Mm. Almost did not do it. Yeah, well, I yeah. didn't know. There I didn't was know a that. point where where we where would it was discussed for sure. Your your career has it's been really interesting to me. And even if you go back to the uh, uh, following my first mind EP, that was mm-hmm. six seven years ago, right. um, and I went back and listened to that. Um, also, the sticking to my guns, and you know, and. You you seem to have this common thread uh, that runs through um, your your ascent to the point where you are as an artist, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I want to break down some of the lyrics from one of your songs in this thing we call lyrical breakdown. All right, all right, all right. that's coming up right now. Oh, Q, you know, uh, <laughs> down down. Oh, wow. Lyrical Delay breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> Blah, it's break down. coming. We got our swear it's coming, man. Yeah, this is live Broadway, it. PJ. I know it. I Shit know don't it. always trigger, baby. Anticipation is killing me. Right, exactly. Let's go. Don't you get it. Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. <laughs> what the hell did you just say? It's the lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the Morning. Claustrophobic is a song that you can find on what project, PJ Moore? Um, it is on my Gumbo album. That's right. Yeah. And, and your live edition of the Gumbo and album. Gumbo Unplugged, yeah. And it's the yeah. one that got nominated, right? Yes, yes. Three yeah. Grammy, and, how many? Uh, three Grammy three nominations. nominations. Yeah, one, one. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought, uh, when you listen to the live performance, there's things you're saying that I just thought people didn't really go through no more when it came to music. And yeah. And you're talking about a time in your conversation with the audience. Uh, you went to have a meeting and uh, with a record company, and uh, you know when you left the record company, some of the things that they said about you and to you made you um, write a song. Um, and so let's go over the lyrics. Um, PJ, you're not mainstream enough, huh? Mm-hmm. Would you consider us changing some stuff? Woo! That really happened. It re- it really happened, yeah. Okay, yeah. they said it in was, your face, man. Th- it was it blew my mind. I was like, and this is I'm in my room five, right? Like yeah. I'm uh, successful, and uh, this is when I decided to like let's let's figure out what I'm gonna do solo again. And I started to this was after Young Money, and I started to have meetings in, in these buildings again. And literally, these guys started to like almost as if I wasn't there. I felt like. Charlie Brown, when the teachers are just like, you know, want, 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 I was just felt it was like out of body, uh-huh. and they were saying whatever they were saying, and um, I heard, I remember somebody saying like, PJ, you ever think about like working with DJ Mustard? And I'm like, no diss to DJ Mustard, I look, we got smashes, yeah, got hits, yeah, man, got hits. I, I love DJ Mustard, but have you listened to my music at uh-huh. all? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and, and it kind of showed me of when somebody's hot, you know, then everybody wants to follow the leader. And um, I just knew that I was out in mid meeting. I was like, okay, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm not doing this. Mm-hmm. And actually, I'm, I'm gonna leave LA too. You know, that's when mm-hmm. the seed planted for me to leave LA and move back home to New Orleans. Uh, but I just knew I, w- I didn't want to play that game anymore. Yeah. It's like, You've been there too long at yeah, that point. Too, and I, too and established. also, it, w- it was a different perspective. You know, yeah. when, you, when you talk to A&Rs and stuff, this is me, after me just having five hits, uh-huh. five number ones in a row with Maroon. So I'm like, you all right. You said five number ones, okay. <laughs> in a row. That's a life life. Okay. Life. But 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 perspective is different. I'm like, are you 
you telling me that I don't know how, not that I wrote those hits or like uh-huh. came up with those hits from Maroon 5, but when you're a part of things that are successful and that close to it, so, th- that rubs off in one way or another. Yeah. Where you at least know how to move, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. Um, and so my perspective was different. And, and then so my tolerance was just lower. And I'm like, thank you know, I just left there knowing that this, this I'm, ain't I, the move. Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it that way. Yeah. What, what name the Maroon 5 hits real quick that you were a big part of? Oh, when I, when I first joined the band, well, Moves Like Jagger was first. Moves Like Jagger? Huge. And then uh, Payphone. Then Payphone. One More Night. And then... Uh, we had the song Daylight, and uh, I mean now the girls like you we just had yeah uh, this year and you wrote on uh, all these songs I I played on all of them uh-huh. I didn't write them but uh-huh. um yeah I was a part of all of these records you yeah. know and um and like I said even if I didn't write it or even if I didn't play on it I'm I'm traveling with this band that is like you know Who they one, are. one of one yeah. of the biggest bands so we got to talk we got to have different conversations yeah you know what i'm saying at that point and um it's no diss to anybody because that's the system that's how that works uh-huh. but i just know that i had to exist outside of of, of the system you know pj morton yeah. pj take me well take us into your world just a little bit because mm-hmm. you touched on a few things sway tracy myself we always say that's why our eyes just lit up when you said people pick and choose what they want to get mad at we've been saying this for quite some time now yeah. and then you went on to say when something is hot it's hot um you have to go home though to your, your wife and your kids sure how much of what your wife says or things because like kevin hart decided you know what i was just about to do the oscars after i spoke with ellen and then i went home and my daughter was like but dad you always tell us and i decided not to do it how much does your home life you know determine some of the decisions that you make that's real i mean a lot to be honest you know because i gotta i gotta look at them in the yeah, face every day when I make yeah. these decisions. So even down to the Super Bowl and all of that, you know, I'm sure their friends at school might be asking, you mm-hmm. know, so they got to mm-hmm. I got to be able to be stand up to them first because that's who I got to see every Amen. every day, you mm-hmm. know. Um, and, and my wife is a sounding board for me uh, big time, like more than any executive. I got to hear what she says because she knows me better than them. So she understands why, well, why are you making that decision? What is it based off, you know, and, and what what's your motivation on that? Absolutely. So it plays a huge part, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, the crib is, you know, that's the that's the last say so. Yeah. I mean, they know that I'm going to make the last decision, but that the, what, what they say and what they believe about what's going on just is very, it plays a big part into it. That's Good interesting. I yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, me too. I just want to ask you because um, for a long time there was this weird sort of stigma or perception about like black guys in like rock bands. You know, going all the way back to Jimi Hendrix, Living Color, or Clarence Clemens with the E Street Band and Bruce Springsteen. You had Leroy Moore with Dave Matthews Band, Hootie and the Blowfish with Darius Rucker. Yeah. And a lot of people look at it like, why are you playing that music? Or like, you know, you're you're not even the lead singer or something. And do you still feel like some of that is still kind of thought about in that way? I haven't felt like that. I think I was more the the Billy Preston coming into the Beatles or the Rolling Stones type feel because they were a, a band that existed and was successful before me. Um, so I came in and kind of was a, 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 for lack of better words, a rebranding of it. Um, but for me, Maroon 5, I was a fan already. So, you know, like when This Love came out, you know, mm-hmm. when I was younger, I thought it was fly, you know. And you I think could, it was Jamiroquai? <laughs> I didn't think it was Jamiroquai, but <laughs> but but it was. I'm sure they were influenced <laughs> by 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 him, and I know they were influenced by Stevie a whole bunch. Yeah, Stevie Wonder. And yeah. their 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 uh, like coming up was rock music and punk music for them. And when they were introduced to Stevie and all these things, it was kind of a merge of that stuff. And that and, and I know even Timbaland and Missy was like a heavy influence for them. But this was their version. What, what, we, what we ended up with was all that stuff mixed up. So I could always, because I think you hear music based on you, what you uh, have listened to and what you relate to, right? So I heard those influences in there. So when it was time for me to join the band, uh, I knew that I could fit into that. And also I was influenced by the Beatles and James Taylor as much as I was influenced by Stevie and Al Green. So for me, it was, a, it was kind of a natural thing. And um, most people just think it's cool because they know I'm this soul dude, and I and I exist in this pop band as well. So I don't I don't really get any 
backlash. So did you have to audition or they found you? What was I did. First audition in my life, actually. Wow. Um, initially, I got the call from a friend of mine, Adam Blackstone, who's a music director who was coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, Quest Love just had gotten Fallon, so he was actually coming in to um, put the show together. Uh, after he did that, like, Jay-Z mashup with uh -huh. Lincoln Park and stuff, yeah. a yeah. lot of bands started to reach out. And... Um, uh, he couldn't do it, so he recommended my boy Adam, and a and they were looking for a keyboard player, singer. Okay. And he recommended me. And first, the first call I got was, "Man, you want to do this? All right, you're in." And then they were like, "Well, let's audition because we don't know him." And I'm like, "Audition? I never. What do you do? You know, me? Oh, I'm PJ Moore. No, 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 it wasn't. Damn. No, no, it wasn't even that. It I was, was like, on, I don't know. Young money, don't I don't know how to audition. Right. Like, I, like, what do you do? So they were like, "Just learn Sunday morning." I'm like, "All right." cool that's such a simple song we played that and um they were like what else do you know and i just i'm like i know a little of this and we just started vibing really and mm -hmm. i saw that they were regular cats like musicians mm -hmm. like everybody in maroon five can really play like uh i think that was part of the reason we wanted to do the super bowl just to show people that we we're a band and if you come to these shows like you really see that we can really play. It's yeah. not no pop thing. No, I've been, I've seen way. your shows, you know man. What I'm saying? They're, they're, they're incredible. Uh, yeah. So, so um, I auditioned, and uh, they had a second day of auditions that got canceled and all that. I think more of it though was our vibe. Like yeah. I think we mm -hmm. connected personally because when you're on tour with people, you with yeah. them more than your family. family. So I think yeah. they were like, let's just fill them out to see if we can even just be around them. Mm -hmm. for and here we are. Canceled the second day. Nine years later, he nothing. shut it down. He shut it down. <laughs> first take. He cleaned them out. These are Clean facts. Them out. Cleaned them out. He cleaned, <laughs> cleaned them out. Cleaned them out. First he take. Uh, he has a wonderful album, Gumbo. If you haven't heard the studio recording or the live recording, make sure uh, you do that. You're performing tonight, right? Uh, yeah, it's Friday, huh? Yeah, yeah performing tonight, tonight at yes. the Shed. Uh, yeah. Soundtrack of America, night oh one. Oh, my gosh. That's, this new place is amazing. Yeah. I'm just hearing the it's talk It's crazy. About I just it. went for the first time yesterday. I think it's like $475 million building. Mm -hmm. And uh, the architecture on it is just so wild. And I saw one of the venues, can it can actually move and open. Yeah, Why? It, open it's crazy. Yeah, that's but, the big um, feature. Quincy, it's, 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 Quincy Jones is, is overseeing it. And uh, Greg Fillingaines is the music director. He did all this MJ and Stevie stuff. Um, and um, a bunch of cool artists on it uh, with me as well. Rhapsody's on it tonight, and I think it's a series for like a month. Mm -hmm. But I'm 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 just honored to be a part of it. It's, it's it looks like it's gonna be like an amazing event. And of course, Steve McQueen. It's his uh this is his baby soundtrack okay. of America. Soundtrack of America Night yeah. One. Let's talk about JoJo. Mm -hmm. This young lady who is this YouTube phenomenon. Uh, probably about fifteen, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know of her until earlier this year with my cousin Quasi, who's the father of my little cousin, five year old Cade, who I love to death, love to dearly, I don't know, love dearly. <laughs> yeah. uh, anytime I go to Oakland, I'm just all, we, we just have the best time. We even do episodes on my Instagram. And so whatever she wants, we all try to get. And my cousin called me, PJ, and said, man, Cuzzo, you gotta, you gotta give me tickets to see JoJo. And I'm thinking it's JoJo the, the singer, uh, the, the older. Uh, get out. Yeah, singer. yeah, right yeah. Now. That's jo that's the JoJo that's on my record. This is that JoJo. Yeah, that's yeah. This ain't the fit the teenager. <laughs> no, there's another JoJo right now. Yeah, yeah, JoJo Siwa. Yeah. Oh. oh. So I'm like, this girl oh. was singing. That's yeah. That's when you I asked me, yeah, you <laughs> asked me, you was like, that's what she sound I like. like yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Out, Sway. No, this is the JoJo. <laughs> this is the JoJo that came out when she was 15. That's my homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. You know she's a beast. Oh. JoJo's back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah JoJo's okay. back. Exactly. Because, hold up. Hold up. Real up. Real up. Real up. Real up. Real up. Real up. Well, that's JoJo's song right there. Let me. Let me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. This is how we were introduced. To her. Yes. Okay. That's exactly. my homie. That changed yeah, my whole. You know, MTV. This when I was no, watching you on TRL. I, I know, but I yeah. just saw the <laughs> other young JoJo on the Kids Choice Awards. And, oh, and that's what was, I was uh, confused. That sounds like JoJo was on with that? Khaled, and I was like, ah. "Damn, she sounds like this." Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, I right, spent right. New Year's Eve with this JoJo. Right. Okay. 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 He was yeah. about to hit up PJ for tickets and stuff like that for Katie, the super kid. He was about to. This is about to go crazy. You ain't know what was coming to you. Finish the story. Yo, yeah, well, the story he was about was, to be uncle of the decade. decade yeah. The other Joe, what's her name? Wonder Jojo. Siwa. Siwa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she got the Oracle was sold out sometime in August oh, or September. Wow. 
And he was hitting oh, me up wow. in February for those That's for that crazy. young lady. Wow. Uh, so I gotta find tickets for that. Uncle yeah, Sway, I, I, I can't help. I can't help. help <laughs> Shut up, old lady. <laughs> Want these tickets. Kate would have been crying. <laughs> ah, that's not it. Wrong JoJo. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> this JoJo, though, people have been just begging for new music from her. Right. She went through a lot. Yeah. With her label. With her label and stuff, couldn't release music. She she did, to me, one of the flyest things was like re record the first two albums that they wouldn't put up uh -huh. and uh, put them up. Now uh -huh. they're available to stream. And I reached out to her to do this record with me, and she. Killed it. She sounds incredible on yeah, this. She's, she's it's called Say it, So. You wrote the entire song? I wrote this song, yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you reach out to her? You know, I just saw her moving. I knew she could sing. You know, she 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 she's beloved in the music community. Yeah. Big time. And like the the singers um have always been down with her. You know, I know uh -huh. she did this cover of SWV's Week not too long ago that went crazy. And she's just got it. You know, she's, it's just the real thing. So I saw her moving and I just I just reached out. We had run into each other before some years back and kind of always, uh, I, I met her, she was around Glasper one time. Robert Glasper. Yeah, Robert yeah. Glasper one time. So she's a, she's a muso, man. She's yeah. a music head. So she's in the crew, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, I just I just thought about her when I when I went to turn this into a she duet. She's a Boston girl. Boston girl. Boston girl. Right. Yeah, her That's and her right. family came up. She That's didn't right. have a silver spoon in her mouth. No, nah, man, she, she got it. She worked she hard. She was just so talented so yeah. early, you know. Your mother supported her, yeah. you know, and uh, really good people. I, I actually sat down, we talked about... The, the challenges she was facing with her label mm -hmm. and then he, and just a lot of personal challenges I'm sure um, that she faced uh, you know with her with her her family life you oh, know right. so it's you know I know a little bit you yeah know. being the being the yeah the the number one uh -huh. in her household at uh -huh. that young I'm sure you know with kid stars in general yeah she was she was the breadwinner yeah you yeah. know yeah. well speaking of bread PJ we got some citizens from Sway in the morning hitting us up someone is saying to me his name is Russell uh -huh. ask PJ how he likes Adam's new house in Beverly Hills I spent two years building this house I don't oh. know if this is true but he's saying it's ridiculous he has a crazy ass garage with a car elevator in it um the, the Beverly Hills house I don't Adam has a lot of houses I don't know if I've been to the one with a with an elevator in there which one you been to <laughs> I've been to the one with this he got the coldest gray and not a black top basketball court. It's uh -huh. gray and it's just super fly. But I, don't, I think he moved. He's just sold that one too. What's his I game can't like? Keep up, what is basketball game Adam like? Who? Adam Cahoo. Who? What? Adam? Yeah. Tell him he actually has a story. He yeah. probably could tell it better than me. But yeah. his 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 turn to be to get the confidence to be a rock star was when him hitting this winning shot in uh in. Um, middle school uh -huh. in a basketball game that kind of switched this whole thing but he can really shoot he can I'll play. post him up in the key let That's him know it. that yeah, yeah, wow left hand he left, left we oh, both thanks, left handed thanks for letting me say it but yeah. I needed to know that yeah but yeah. I mean you know yeah. it changes it up yeah I can easily swat him with my right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's set it up, man. Let's set it up. Don't play it, up, PJ. PJ. Hey, don't play. I've got, I got, like, I, I, light, I got confidence in Adam. Adam light. He light yeah. the chest. He yeah. light the chest. Five Sway in the morning? Yeah. Let's go. Adam What's in the morning. He light in the chest, kid. I know he's going to be bouncing <laughs> around the court. He look like he's a cardio guy. Uh, oh, yeah. He can move. Yeah, he he can like move. You might get guys. tired, Sway. No, nah, he been You got to make that in sure that jumper's okay because he ain't coming to the key. His jumper's pretty pure. It's pure. It's pure. Yeah. Man, congratulations, PJ, Thank on you, all uh, you know that Thank you've you. done and continue to do. Absolutely. And I support you 120%. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Man. And uh and and it's great to see uh you putting out music. You doing this in the, your next music through Empire or how you doing it? Yeah, yeah. Yep. We ride, I'm, st I'm sticking with Empire. It's been great. Shout out to Gazi, shout out to Nima, man. It's 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 been a great partnership. Um it's just a, a natural, very organic thing. Uh, we're about to do a a live record at a at Essence Fest this year uh -huh. uh, in oh, New cool. Orleans with a bunch of guests. I got Luke James and and uh, BJ the Chicago Kid and um, Mia X is gonna come and rap with Ooh. me. Mama Mia and uh, I can't think of everybody right now, but it's gonna be crazy. It's me. It's like my home going. You know, mm -hmm. everybody at Essence Fest the and uh, then we can put out another yeah. studio record as well. So the Hamiltons, uh, Hamiltons, 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 Hamiltons gonna yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're gonna be there with me. I'll sure. be there this year. Yeah. This is my first essence because I always work first? doing it because oh, wow. it's, it's during my um, birthday and I'm always taking the family somewhere. somewhere. 
Or I'm working. So you gonna go there I'm this year? I'm going this year. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, it's I need a, to be at Essence, man. It's a special. It's a special thing, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to be there. A lot um, of folks down there. A lot of folks down there. I gotta be with the folks. <laughs> folks, you gonna gotta be, be with, with the folks? <laughs> you you definitely gonna be you with see, the you folks. You see my hoodie, yo. You see my hoodie right there. Oh yeah, okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay. You fit right in at okay. Essence, man. Um, man, come back anytime. Next time, bring the mm-hmm. keyboard. Absolutely. Oh, I'd love to. Matter of fact, yeah, I saw y'all do a little. Jam one time, well, a little jam. We see how we did that. No, you know, in that. New Orleans we say we say little on everything. Well, my see. bad. Chris Daddy Day was that, there. No, oh, wow. Rob, Robert Look, no, Glasser, not little. That's Lupe, my guy. Anthony yeah, Anthony Hamilton, oh, the Hamiltons, uh-huh. Jesse Small. You took that little uh-huh. as a disc. My yeah, yeah, bad. Nah, this big kidding. jam y'all did. Yo, 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 throw an instrument on one. Let me see something real quick. <laughs> oh, let me throw on one of his favorite producers. Hold on. Okay. Oh, DJ Mustard. Oh my God. Hey man, you think you can sing something over this one? Let me see. I gotta hear some. Okay. Is it some it's melody? Watch, 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 watch this. What's that on that beat? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Got it. He uh, caught it. Uh, I'ma go with Sway. Hey, every, every day. Yeah. Uh, cause it's the way. Uh, uh, I like to stay. Hey, I'm going in with Sway. Hey, uh, every day. Uh, this is the way. Hey, yeah. Uh, I like to stay mm-hmm. yeah. Sway in the morning mm-hmm. yeah. Tell them your name, man uh, My name's PJ uh, uh, With Sway uh, Yeah, every day Who's that over there? Hey, right there, man. hey we got Heather Hey, hey, go in Oh, I thought you was going. My bad. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. That's Tracy over there. Yeah. Talk to her. Talk yeah. To her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Tracy. Uh, uh, she don't hate me. Uh, uh, I'm too cool. Uh, uh, I'm going cool. What about DB, man? He uh, never had his name mentioned. Uh, DB. Uh, uh, not football. Uh, uh, but it's all of y'all. Uh, uh, that's, that's OQ right there. Nobody ever even What's knows his name. OQ. 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 Hey. Uh, uh, what you do? Uh, uh, I see you mixing. Uh, uh, with the crew. That's DJ One on the turn. Uh, a DJ One. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> We're going down. It's sway in the morning. Talk yeah, yeah. Uh, sway in the morning. Uh, uh, we here. Uh, uh, and we clapping. Uh, I ain't rapping, nah, uh, nah. man, cause I'm a soul man. Uh, singer, uh, man. That's what I sing. Yeah. Uh, 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 I like to do that. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I make you scream. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. PJ Morton, sway the yes, boy. Like that, man. We got a new intro. <laughs> Lock it in. Lock it in, man. All right, man. We're going to end with Say So, but, man, congratulations. And, citizens, you want to reach this beautiful, talented individual, hit them up on social sure. at. Yeah, at PJ Morton, PJ M O R T O N. I'm out there. All right. In the streets. Come back anytime, yeah. Thank brother. Thank y'all so much. Bring man. the keyboard next time, you. man. All right.